Yeah, they're using Echo CS600 saws. Lots of power here to get through it, but they got to take their time and make sure their cookies are not too wide. It's also a cold start. Sterling Hart had that saw started into the wood in less than a second. Nice and smooth. Kevin Sturm looks like he might be able to track him down here. Sterling Hart wins the heat in 12.9. His disc look a little bit thick, though. Obviously a little bit uh, thicker than you want it there, but did you get their RPMs up on that saw before you got in the wood? No, I got it in, but uh, what I normally do, you pull the fast idle out before you go, so by the time you pick up the saw, that chain's already running, but there must have been a little bit of fuel stuck in the carburetor, so it, it uh, stuttered a little bit at the top, and that was just enough to, well, plus I was, you know, was too big, so it didn't really matter, did it? Well, Dave McLeod taking on Carson Bischoff. He is our leader right there. Dave McLeod, Carson Bischoff, Sterling Hart. They are the top three. Anything can happen in the Echo Stock Saw, but Sterling Hart has just made a major faux pas by taking too thick a disc and taking that DQ. It could be up to these two guys in the overall standings. Lots of room here now, of course, to make a good cut there. Also had the advantage of watching the first heat, doing everything right here so far. Looks like Carson's ahead of Dave. Carson's really dropping that saw fast. Listen to those RPMs. To beat Dave McLeod would be quite a feat. Carson Bischoff wins the Stock Saw. You're not here just for the competition. You know that the people want to see a show, right? That's right. You know, it's, it is about the people, too. And uh, you keep it lively all day. These shows can be up to four hours long. So we try and keep it as entertaining as possible. And if we get a laugh out of the crowd, that's a, definitely a bonus. So you had a pretty much a flawless cut there. The crowd was cheering you on.